Treacherous Swamp. That is our mission and the subject of the speech I'm about to give. Inspiring leader. Oops. <laughs> I hit cautious. I owe you one. Or should we not make the swamp also safe? But if be alligators, should we preserve it as a natural preserve? Questions, complications. Stay tuned. So um, we went back into the sewer last time. We were actually not very okay. <laughs> I, it seems like a lot of things have come up preventing me from going back to Treacherous Swamp. Well, it's kind of my fault. I decided to go to Annie's campsite and remove that ghost. And when I came back to Happy Town, Happy Town was attacked by an army of ghosts and fey creatures. Um, but now I'm on my, way, on my way back to Treacherous Swamp. And of course, I left Treacherous Swamp the first time because I was escorting Syl back to her to her cabin which we never made it to because then we ran into another sill and we had a fight and after that fight strange cave interesting i did fight those two hags when i met sill sill appeared right after i defeated those two hags and then we escorted her back to her cabin we never made it because we ran into the real Sill, and we were then assaulted by an army of zombies. And so, then we went back to Happy Town. Then from Happy Town, we had a level up, and my cleric got a new spell that gives you resistance to necrotic damage. And our party felt like that could be an advantage if our conversation with the ghost didn't go according to plan. And so with that new gumption, we decided we could go talk to the ghost. And now I'm looking to see, if, did I get hag hair? I, I got hag hair. Okay. So now that I have hag hair. What did her armor do? 22 was the same. So if I can get magic of either of those, that would be great. Okay, so hag hair means I can go to Strange Cave, which is on this map. Which, I was thinking I'd go back to Treacherous Swamp, but if I recall, that man was saying you couldn't go into Strange Cave until you had hag hair. And it seems like a coincidence. <clears throat> so I think I'll go to Strange Cave. It's brilliant. I keep thinking I'm going to go to Treacherous Swamp. I keep going somewhere else. That man is gone. The ghost man that's in Treacherous Swamp near the... The, the wall he said that the spirits in this cave were knavish so they're, at least that guy seems to be saying they're not the same spirits I don't know what the consequence of that would be I feel like this is the first time I've been in a dungeon You hear things. The air is stale and smells of ozone. There are no signs of animals ever sheltering here. Sheltering here. Ozone. Like it rained? No, she doesn't have light. She does have sparkle. It's a warning. Magically clairvoyant. Flee while you can. This is a place of judgment, and the foolish are judged most harsh of all.
seems more than one adventurer has died here. The corpse of a dead explorer, Mary had shouted off screen. Kind of want to look and see about my distribution of health potions. See that other people have a variety of them or not. Okay, you. You can't fly while you wear medium armor, but maybe your medium, your light armor, it's really situational as to whether it's important to fly or not. <laughs> and for one thing, while it's helpful to fly like over gates and you can cheat some dungeons by flying, um, in general, flying is more useful outdoors where there's more airspace. So with that in mind, I was looking at giving her this armor, and let's see if that improves her armor class. Which is 17. Still 17. What is the drawback to studded leather versus half plate? Is there a drawback to half plate? I mean, to studded leather? <clears throat> well, it's my super high dexterity bonus that stores that. I should be a little more respectful of the reality. Oh! Ah, so you didn't even see the trap. I thought you were going to disarm the trap. And you hadn't even seen it. I am catching myself in my naivete. But clearly we see these traps. So she has the best... The best thieves tool... Um, rolls right now. Stop. Damn. That's you. Writing magically comports itself into a language you can read. Even if illiterate, the words are clear in your mind. In our time, for you long ago, we made an evil fae queen. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> she was our child, and we could not bring ourselves to slay her. We anchored her soul to this mausoleum through the magic mirror that created her, the mirror of distortion. You who read this may be our child too. We are sorry. Mirror of distortion and the means of Zal's destruction lay within. We will not let the, the unvirtuous slay our child. To have the virtues fit to judge Zale, one must be accustomed to power, one must be wise, and one must be good. You read. <clears throat> we consider ourselves to be powerful people. It is our compassion that compels us to warn you. You who would judge our daughter, we put challenges before you, great and small. We love our daughter and will not let lesser beings judge her. I skipped over Mir, huh? You will be judged yourself. Know thyself and fear hubris. It's like a gap here in the wall. Yeah. 
be fair, my characters would not have known that. But I, I was able to see that. Okay. Had to react with death. Oh, come on. How unfortunate. Well done! I'm dropping some with that. <laughs> How many thunder can I get off? Ah, uh, can she not cast it? I think that would be rather fun. She can cast fireball. That will ruin their day. Any mountains? <laughs> hey, surprise! Kill them all! Well, it seems like a waste now to use one of those big fireball spells. And I don't think Blight is going to do anything to the undead. I cannot use Lightning Bolt. Oh, for shame. For sure. It's been a theme. I find Thunder is just, uh... Reliably destructive. Things are rarely immune to it. You like that? she feels left out because she can't cast um, Firebolt. A modest success. Ah oh, yes, she has two attacks now. Oh, awesome. I'll leave this loot with my conjecture being that I can come back for it. I do see a wall and loot right here where it's... I failed. How does Flash of Genius work? By less than your intelligence modifier. So I can give them like my intelligence modifier on top of whatever they got going on. That's really good. I mean, that pretty much would. I mean, that holds up to a lot, up to like a um, rolling a one. That's pretty interesting. Keep her around, you know. <laughs> Especially if you're a bard, you want to make sure it goes right on stage for you every time. Let 
Let there be light. Okay, this half plate is better. Bracers. Let us identify them. Little hidden nook here. Very nice short sword. Not enough, not nice enough to displace my soul drinking dagger. So, should I? I'll just do the identify ritual. Sometimes I can overlook a piece of gear, and then it's nice to have done detect magic. Arcana Divo Oculus! So the archery bracers, they add plus two to your damage. I have two characters that fire three arrows a, sh a shot. Now, if I gave it to this character, she'd be better able to use longbows. So eventually, I might have longbows better than the Medusa bow, but I don't currently have bows better than the Medusa bow. So really, it's just a question of who I want to give plus two, and if I really want them to have their lightning defense on or not. So for right now, I'm just going to go It's her having them. Yeah, good. All right, so let us go ahead. Do our attunement. Not you, but yeah, okay, tune it is. Well, I thought it was her. Who do I have to attune something to? Oh, yes, the bracer, bracers of archery. I owe you one. Salasa Evo Sio Arcana Evo Sio Natura Evo Sio Is this some sort of Homunculus they created. To be good, one must be self sufficient. First trial. Location on the map. There seem to be four solo teleport four solo teleporters. And the sign on the door had that message that said, to be good, one must be self-sufficient. And there's four of them. They probably don't know that I could bring six. That's how good I am. <laughs> Outsmart you ghosts. Smart enough to use Dazzle, though. 
A little light is always welcome. Pretty well lit in here. Teleporter did I just use? Probably this one, right? infinite void just like my heart I see a, a jail cell the teleporter is behind it I assume some way to get there and I'll have two leftover characters maybe I'll use them um, you know the game didn't expect me to have them so maybe I can teleport them in where I need them depending on what happens. Aina Abio Clipae. All right. That's last pad, Guardian Wolf. Wow. Wish I had a higher AC character to bring in there. Might as well pull out all the stops. Oh, and he's vulnerable to fire. That's good to know. Concentration held. Sick. I was hoping for something that could just like freeze an animal. Alright, go in there and wreck it. That was a huge hit. Yeah, getting a critical on a 19. I think I should go help the wizard. No wait, the wizard is here. One move left. Perfect. Let's go here and stab them. Oh, you can't move after you teleport. Forgot. I will die like the rest. Good to have friends. Most of oh. yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you really need to do better. I need to do better. I forgot to use my chromatic infusion.
Oh, who needs my help? I'll leave this person. The last it you have them now. Pretty weak now. Don't need to use blight. One was a critical miss. The other was just a regular miss. And then one hit. So is it dead? Oh, I should have turned off my fire. Hard for this. She's pretty tough. In a situation like this, artificers in a good position. Just a variety of tools. All the tools that they have at their tool belt. I mean, I guess that's like exactly what you expect from their class, right? But the important utility spells like shield. On top of the little flourishes time, that improve their I weapon. Swear. Quite a bite. Oh, take that. He's a virtue. I think I've already used my item, so I can't just open the door this turn. Felipe! Death blames you! Yeah, I think uh, I think I remember this. Since you can't open doors during combat, um, you can open and close doors. You can't open and lock. I think it's because it's locked. I think. I I remember trying to struggle to open doors during combat, and I had to wait till combat was over. I think I could teleport if I needed to. He just doesn't have the same DPS at this point, at any rate. Ah! 
finally sustain damage. Still not dead. Almost. Everyone else is like, what took you so long? have proven yourself self-sufficient, meeting the bare minimum to be considered good. If one of you had followed the other into the test rooms, he would, you would have been locked in there forever. <clears throat> I think that's true if it's a four-person. You might have been locked in there. Ghost humor. To know whether one is good or the reverse, we must learn about you. Spend an hour with me resting and discussing philosophy, and I shall pass my judgment. Okay. Take a short rest. Talk a while. She's not particularly smart. She could use a headband in her legs. Thanks. <laughs> Sounded like she's responding to my diss. Very good. There is a teleporter behind me. Um, I don't think he means that one. Very good. Something's up here. No. Okay. <laughs> don't know what this magic sauce was there. Maybe it had to be this lady in the lead. I don't know. It was the fairy character that had to push it open. But yeah. That door was supposed to be open. And it did open, so thank you. Magnificent Greatsword. Seems like a lovely weapon.
I don't have any characters that really use two-handed weapons. Where did they send me? That sounds threatening. <laughs> if I'm going to be staying here a while. Gauntlets. Ooh. Doom gem. These are really valuable. Take these. I mean, eventually I'd want to sell all of these, right? But in terms of loot to take right now, go ahead and leave that stuff in there. I do hear a dragon. Um, I have pretty easily smote most of the enemies, but I did have to use quite a few spell slots, especially on my artificer, to get here. So I don't think I should go fight a dragon without a full night of rest. Tell me what's going on over here. Okay. There's like a box and this otherwise solid wall. Go ahead and camp. Plenty of sleeping bags. And someone put plenty of rations. There's the spider tunnel. There's where I had to duel with those wolves. Like you weren't supposed to be cautious. <laughs> she yelled so loud. So, um, I didn't get any sort of explanation of this from dialogue, which I would have expected. But it says now that the mission has moved on to slay Wicked Faye's pet in this Are You Good quest. 
that is happening in Strange Cave. The pet of the Wicked Fae is a nearly necrotic dragon, ill for hundreds of years under the Fae's curse. Slay it and gain access to the Strange Cave's libraries in the third test. There's libraries? You know what that means. That means, um, recipes. rumbling voice sounds out. Has my mother come to feed me after all this time? The narrator said in the least rumbly voice popular. Popular? <laughs> what? <laughs> the narrator spoke with the least rumbling voice possible. Magnificent short bow, plus one. Splendid plate armor. That's gonna weigh you down. Take it to a wizard to be identified. That's on me. Back to hiding, lady. Come on. She looks really dope in her armor, though. All right, so her AC's 20. That's with a regular shield. 22. Hard to deny the improvement. And scale armor. Pass it back to the cleric. Who has magic armor in her own right. AC 20. 21. Go ahead and break that attunement. Pass this on to her. I don't think this armor is worse or better. This one. Wait, no, the half plate is better. All right, I need someone else to carry it though for a second. Oh, it's getting too heavy. Okay. Time for me to give a pep rally. 
There's some unknown monster that seems to be called a pet. We hear it rumbling. Um, be brave in the face of certain death. And remember, people are going to watch this video on replay. Try not to look like a coward. A low rumbling voice sounds out. You are not my mother. You will be my food. You know, if it is a dragon, it's spread out wide, so its breath attack can't just nuke me. But there's a thing there. That thing's not dead? I thought that was gonna kill it in one blow. Oh, Damn it. Reconnected. 15 points of damage. Almost. Almost meaningful. Why can't you cast any spells? No free hand. Oh, hold my torch. It's too slow. Important thing to overlook. Yikes. Okay, you're tough. The goal is to be hard to hit with a big cone area of effect thing. That's the goal right now. No quarter given. One character. <gasps> Got her bad though. Oh man, actually a lot more. And some of these characters took 68 points of damage in one, one swing. All right, that guy said something. No, he didn't say anything. But I remember this playthrough from before. And there's usually a guy that stands at my campsite and tells me about the phase pet. Yeah, because the phase pet is so old. And all the poisons and acids that drips on its skin and made its skin incredibly hard, resistant to slashing and piercing. But it's so old and doesn't have good nutrition that it was more vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. So we'll have to see. I'm not in a position to use bludgeoning damage right yet. But maybe soon. Maybe I can use thunder. No, nope, not from that range. Die. Critical hit. Not a lot of damage. I'm 
wish I could teleport over there. I have a feeling he's going to teleport over here. Talk about Mal Miss. Out of range. It's painful how beautiful that is, and then see it only do 14 points of damage. see invisible things. Because I'd be only... I'll remember. The characters that got totally nuked by his fire breath. Resistant to piercing, only takes half. However, I do have that radiant damage, and he's not resistant to that. And the potential, the potential to inflict confused, I think, is more valuable than what that hammer could do with a slightly better damage. Yeah. Roll. Lucky, perhaps. Oh, I should have done that. He's not immune to lighting. Probably got some sort of resistance to paralyzation. Being paralyzed. And he's got immunity to piercing damage. She just stood up this dragon. Good job. Wait till the next one. Or, or just die. I actually thought this guy would just die. And then he didn't.
believe I mentioned Bane can be good against bosses in particular. But I don't have enough stuff to do it there, do I? Please connect. That's such a high level spell. 22, that's pretty nice. Is out for you. Such a big dude, you missed. Let's try the daggers. Well struck. Oh, he failed, and he is paralyzed. And it's a dragon, my favorite imminent enemy. I've never even fought a dragon before. I just always wanted to fight dragons. This is so cool, I'm living my dream. Do you have any explosive arrows? Just, that would be helpful right now. For shame. Come on. Let's start working my way over there. Failed again, so I think paralyzed is renewed. Ha! Die. Ha! Yes, the harvester calls to you. chance to use her base on this thing. Never fallen for the confusion. Hopefully, I can paralyze it one more time. Two or three more times. Good. Yes. Very good. Harvester calls to you. All coming your way. Use a spear next time. Nice, 26, 40. Uh, so it might have been worth it to use the hammer instead of the sword the whole time.
Your mother, the Fae Queen, never loved you. I think I know that one. Alright, let's see how much better I could have done with the hammer. Now that I'm wearing the headband of intellect, I think these smart things. 32. So much better. I should have definitely been using the hammer. Of knowledge. Bold claim. Here's angry. Ang what? Angby. Angby Cramson. There's a teleporter. What does that say? Library entrance. Okay, so we'll check that in just a second. Nice little warm up. There is one final test. Truthfully, you passed the test. We have granted you access to our library. The next challenge simply must be done if you are to challenge the Wicked Fae. The original, we came here because of a legendary fae who could see the future. We tried to duplicate her so we could harness the double. The duplication failed, harmed the original, and created our child, the Wicked Fae. The original is now slave to the corruption. She is the main power source of the Wicked Fae. She must be destroyed. She is no trivial foe, be warned. The way is down there. He looks to the stairwell west. Okay, so we have to go down here, he says. But first, we can go to the library. So let's check it out. I'm going to have the wizard pick up everything, and then I can see. I'm curious to see what I already have versus what they get. You know, we're going to compare Annie's library to theirs. See which one's better. It seems... Effortless. Zoink. Um, okay, one more teleporter. here in space. Okay, wizard. You're gonna collect all the loot. Kind of things are we looking at? Good different armors. Oh, good studded ar studded armor of leadership. Start getting the light armors that have bonuses. sword. Is it really a plus one sword or is it 
have any other properties. Three skulls of shatter. Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. Soul stealer. Some good poisons. Well, it's definitely more complete than Annie's. Of course, Annie's is just a small portion of her library, right? She brought only some of it with her to her vacation home, which is now a working vacation home, I suppose. Wall of Fire and... Ooh, Dragon Blade. Yeah, can I make that? So that's the same one. There, okay. quiet all of a sudden. Seems to be everything acute. Great peer of harmony. Is that everything? Might be. Yeah, good job. They're called adventuring gear. I wonder what category those fit under. All items, I guess. So, um, is it like 40% of these are already known? Hide armor. Didn't I have someone carrying hide armor around and I didn't know what to do with it? I don't mean that hide armor. I have things now. I can start making some other weapons. I don't think being a thin blade reveals anything new about it. I had a shard of fire. Dragon blade, highly desirable, sets your enemies on fire. I don't think I'll ever make a great 
great sword of anything, so maybe I can just sell it for extra money. Sword. Um, no. Yes. No. Yes. Maybe. Talking out loud, all the things like, should I read this? Yes. No. Maybe. Hopefully, that isn't preferable. That's been a lovely dagger, worth knowing how to make it. Rapier of Harmony. So many ingredients and recipes to read. Loaded with gear. How much do these things weigh? Oh, jeez. I'm like, can you carry my backpack? Kid at school. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what that guy needs us to do. We're going to go camp. That's what we're going to do. We hit their library up. It was actually really good. Found a few more things to fill in the holes from Annie's library, primarily around like studded leather armor plus one or plus two potentially. I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Um, but magic studded leather armor is nice. Before we do anything else, we're going to long rest. What sound is this? It's been hundreds of years. I think that was supposed to trigger previously, but it only triggered now. That was the dragon I just killed. Light, my friend. We'll go ahead and long rest. And then I'll save and wrap up this episode. So we explored Strange Cave, but there's still more. We have to enter a new area, and that will be the next episode. Figuring out this original source fay that the evil fae copies, the wicked fae they call her. <laughs>